this psoriasis looks uh, a, little, a little messed up just because I've been keeping up with the moisturizing and I've been, um, you know, kind of massaging the area to, to kind of break up the, the flakes a little bit so that I could kind of get them off. So uh, one thing uh, that I mentioned in the last, uh, last video is that my psoriasis skin is much hotter than my regular healthy skin. So I, I thought I might put that theory to the test, and uh, I got here a little temperature gun. So we're going to go ahead and give that a shot and see what, uh, what it is. All right, so here we've got regular room temperature. It's about, uh, well, that's not necessarily room temperature because my arm was there. But it's about 75 degrees pointed at my little pad here. Okay. Now move in, and now you see the red dot on my skin. It's about 90 degrees, okay? Now we're gonna move that over. And now we've got uh, 93 degrees, 94, going up still. Let's go right into the middle. 96 degrees, 97 almost. Yeah, so. My theory definitely holds true, not so much on that one, but up here at the big patch, right in the middle of that big patch, that's warm. And I always typically run pretty hot, in the, even in the winter time. And, uh, and yeah, so that uh, theory is proven true. So, not much to say other than, you know, I'm going to get rid of these flakes and uh, and hopefully start back on my little program so that I can uh, keep this down. Now, one other thing is that this stuff has been extremely itchy. Um, I'm not sure if that was because I was so used to not itching for so long that now that uh, I've got, you know, this much on here, it's been it's been itchy. And, and, and I've been picking and peeling and scratching and stuff falling off. Um, all along here because uh, I can't help myself and so let's let's go ahead and get rid of this remainder as I said before I'm not going to use any tools because I don't want to potentially anger my skin anymore so what I used to moisturize this was a combination of my aloe vera gel um, and the, uh, the, I have a salicylic acid cream, which is about 10%. Not sure what salicylic acid does, but a lot of people recommend that for getting rid of skin. And that was some stuff that I had left over from when I was at the Dead Sea. And then the next thing I've been using is, uh, is Vaseline. And Vaseline works surprisingly well. It's been a long time since I've used Vaseline. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's done a great job at helping me loosen the skin up um, in combination with all that other stuff and helping it from, you know, being too, too attached to the skin below. Because I know YouTube hates me bleeding yeah, YouTube pays my psoriasis in general, but what are you going to do? So, as you can see, it falls off relatively easily. I'm not having too much problem, especially on my forearms. Uh, usually I've always had trouble with that area before. It's, it's coming off pretty well. Once again, not sure if that's uh, due to it being basically fresh skin or not. I'm not even using my nails, just pressing along with my fingers. 
and most of them are, are coming up. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now this one I've got to pinch a little bit, pull off. So that was relatively painless for that part. Not much going on, it just uh, pulled right off. Mostly. It's a little stubborn one. Don't want to mess with that too much. All right, let's get to this patch.
Hmm. A little more difficult up there. Just kind of find the right spots and comes right off. I'm sure some of you are just saying, hey, break out the damn knife. Or the dental pick. Or something. Tweezers even, right? Am I right? No, you're wrong, okay? I want to make sure that my skin doesn't get too damaged. <laughs> Hmm. All right, this side, I don't know. It's giving me a lot of trouble. And some magic, we're going to just get rid of it here. All right, just like that, most of it's cleared off with a little bit of movie magic and with as little damage as possible to the skin. And it looks much better than it did before. I do have a few spots that uh, were a little bit stubborn, but for the most part, down to that first layer, maybe second layer of skin that bleeds if it gets pulled up. So, let's put some of that gel on here. Feels so nice. All right, now let's check that temperature, huh? Eighty-six, ninety-two, ninety-nine, 
52. Of course, who am I kidding? It feels cool it's because of the ev evaporation. And that feels great. For now. All right, folks, that's it for this arm. We'll do the uh, other extremities in another video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and that little notification bell. And we'll see you in the next video.